I wasn't supposed to make it this far. Everybody else. One of the contenders for Rookie of the Year, Hayden Swank. Yeah. Hayden Swank catches a bit of it. I mean, it's easy to feel like the underdog. This is like the first one I've really gotten nervous. Man, it's been a whirlwind already. Oh, big contact, turn three. Easy to feel like you don't belong. How in the world have you managed all that jumping up like this? Everybody is bringing their A game to the track every single week. You already know the best guys are going to be there. This is a huge, huge step up for me. Definitely got a lot to learn. At this point, this is like when we really need to turn it on. We've been creeping up the standards every week, being assertive. This is probably the biggest change. Let them know you're here. We're going to be going back to Franklin County. Talk about it getting good here at Franklin County. Now I've got a few hundred laps at Franklin already, plus two wins. It's the best track for us. I just wish it was anywhere else. I said everybody was on the same page about not going back. Franklin, the vibes up there are just... If you're proud to be an American, how about it? Horrendous. A lot of the other competitors think we're cheating. Stop! I don't trust these folks. You've done it before, you can do it again. He's got to go out and race now. You've done it all your life. If there's a week to turn the season around, this is it. <laughs>
over time, but also for Bring Us Your Talent program. The parts we have in the car and the people we have driving our cars are just as important as the people we have working on our cars, and we need GM technicians. There's so many opportunities, like the GM ASAP program, we can get you GM certified in about two years. General Motors' technician recruitment effort Bring Us Your Talent is an amazing career opportunity and provides a path for students like yourself to become a world-class GM dealership technician. You may be able to secure a paid internship and be able to work on some really cool cars like the GMC Hummer EV pickup and the Chevy Corvette. Plus, with enough drive and aptitude like you guys showed earlier, you can make up to 100 k a year with continued job training. This is a high-tech career path that allows technicians the chance to work on the advanced computer systems that power automotive technology. College is very expensive. The GM ASAP program gives students an affordable path to become a world-class technician. These kids have a passion for working on cars. Now, they have the opportunity to go on to the next level in automotive technology. So it's kind of cool to, you know, be the person to maybe help somebody get into racing, for, even from an automotive standpoint. Racing's not the type of thing that's just right in front of you the way other sports are. It's an awesome program. You're here, you're really already interested in this. I think it's a great next step. I usually get racetrack with Leroy. Teaching is a big part of his life, so I don't get to see that a whole lot. I hated it for the kids that built a good car, but they one next to him done broke on them and took them out. Does that not happen with me and you? I know it does. How it... many times have you got wrecked by somebody else? Especially up here on where we gotta go next week. Oh, God. Let's check it going to Franklin County. Come to Franklin County and bounce off the walls. Ready for the old Franklin Supermotor Speedway? <laughs> Last time we went to Franklin, they did everything they possibly could to try and take that win away. Oh, right. The hometown racers are trying to use this claim rule to grab his shocks. I haven't forgotten that. Yeah, the atmosphere up there is different. It's, it's unlike anywhere we'll go. Stuff happens fast at this place, and with 27 cars, it'll be a, a tight track. In my mind, I've already set this as like my make or break date. I just want to be fast. I really want to have the confidence in my like speed to just like go take whatever I want, whatever I feel like taking. Always up for the challenge. Thomas, I know he's gonna work all day and all night to make these cars as fast as possible. He's really one of the only people that cares as much and wants to win as much as I do. You can't ask for anything more. It's all very technical. Now, a lot of folks see this overtime in the car, and I guess we could kind of call you a movie star, couldn't we? It's important to mention for this weekend that overtime's not allowed at the race. Franklin County was not too happy with how they were portrayed in season one, and they don't want us back at the track. Yeah, hey, take the camera away, okay? You know, I'm gonna do my best to film what I can with my phone and some GoPros. All right, so we're heading to Franklin County. Welcome in to Franklin County Speedway. So we just finished our first practice run. About half a second off the fastest time right now. We know where we can find a lot of that time pretty easily, so I'm feeling good about the track. I've got myself all psyched up, I'm ready to go racing, but then I see some dark clouds over the horizon, and I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? That's not good. Yeah. That's not if you're good. in the grandstands, we do recommend you take cover. Uh, we do recommend you head to your vehicles, find some shelter out of this. Please, please, please tell me we're going to get this race in tonight. I don't care. We start at 3 a.m., 1 o'clock in the morning. It don't matter as long as we get the race. I know it's getting close to my bedtime, that's for sure. It is the middle of the night, and, like, we are just now starting this race. The green flag is out, and we... have done it before. You can do it again. Like, you need to do it again here. Up one of the race, I pass a car, I pass another car, and I'm like, all right, like this is what we're this is what we're gonna start doing. Get off this yeah, right, it's been so, so good. good. And then I spin all by myself like an idiot on lap two. Hayden Swank has gone around. 
bit of a scary moment, I'm sure, for the driver out of Woodstock, Georgia, here early in the going. That brings out the caution. It's a tough break for Hayden Swank there. I think fatigue something we're going to have to watch at this point. You know, these teams got here early on this morning, anywhere from 8, 9, 10 in the morning. It's, it's now past 1 o'clock local time. I just hit a wall. The guys in front of me are like way too fast. They're pulling way, way ahead of me and there's nothing I can do to keep up. Mike Looney finally gets underneath and around Carter Hall. Crossover, will it make oh, contact? No. And then there's a huge wreck right in front of me. Mike Looney goes around, Caden Honeycutt, Connor Hall, Trevor Ward is in it. It takes out just about every single car and luckily we were able to get through it with no damage. There's about 30 or so laps left in the race. There's been a bunch of wrecks. You know, the top 10 is in sight. But it, it just never happened. And the white flag is in the air for Carson Quapple. A late race wreck that he was able to avoid, took out all his competition. Carson Quapple wins the Autos by Nelson 225 here at Franklin County Speedway. The crazy thing is Franklin County hasn't changed a whole lot in the two years since we've been there. It got worse. The track got worse. I just wanted more. I expected more of myself. This was our week, and you know I feel like I let everybody down. It's out of the race car. Carson Quapple is a winner here at Franklin County. It is now, after midnight, it is his 19th birthday. How old is that kid in the iRacing car? He's 19. What comes first, the nap or the celebration? I think we're going to celebrate and then I got to sit down. I'm hot. I mean, who knows? That could be you next year, right? Get a good good season this, in this year and really know what you're doing and, and get ready to roll next year. You've really got to question, like, you know, are you that caliber of driver? Do you have what it takes to make it to the next level? Do you know what I mean? Like, guys that are a year younger than me, guys that were a rookie in the past and they've won races, and I'm like, gosh, I just gotta, you know what I mean? I want you to enjoy it again. Sometimes I think we put so much pressure on you. Goal for the rest of the season? I'm not sure what the goal is. I've always thought that I, that I am that guy. I think at this point, I'm just looking to prove to myself that you know, I still am and you know, I can make it. Yo fam, Overtime refuses to miss this year. The drops are nonstop, and we're just getting started. Get like me and cop all the fits. All you gotta do is click the link below and make sure you stay looking out for all our drops.